Yes, we have had a stare off this entire time, but we must break eye contact because we gotta battle the big bad beaker himself, Rick. Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Mitch and the Fighting Club brought me quite a lot of booster packs. If you can defeat me in a card duel, I'll award some to you as a prize. No, if you ever feel like testing your power over science, please return. Would you like to have a fun card battle if you win? I'll give you some of these booster packs I have too. Shall we set aside six prize cards that we have done in the past? Let's make this duel a fun one. By the way, I put my deck back to the way it was, you know, minus taking out the um, Magikarp and Gyarados, but also adding in the uh, uh, freeze-dry Articuno, just to see how that will turn out. That's an iffy opening hand, but <laughs> also put back uh, Energy Burn, I mean, not, um, yeah, Cyburn, uh, Mewtwo as well, so anyway, let's go ahead and hope that our Staryu survives long enough to be able to get some basics. Well, more basics, I should say. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, just a little nipping Zubat over here. By the way, I don't know if I showed this Zubat before. Bite, Confuse Wave may cause confusion, possibly. But what I do know I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do that, but I'm not gonna attack because I don't really have to. And sadly, sadly, I'm gonna Professor Oak away, that wiggly tough. But I just kinda need the extra basics at this moment in time, so. You know, build to another Professor Oak to boot. Star me? I guess I could need to evolve Star you right then and there then. Uh, energy removal, Zubat, sure, sure. <laughs> Slow it down a little bit. And. Well, yeah, I was, I was gonna say, I'm probably just gonna keep biting away at Star me. Just to kind of see if he can get a one-up on me before I get anything super powered up there, but that is a no-go. And I'll just use Recover on the next turn if Starmie is low in health after what he's got anyway. There's the Mewtwo with the Energy Absorption and a Cyburn that I re-added in there. So this uh, Chansey could maybe be a problem because it's got a lot of HP. You know, for the stalling purposes and whatnot, but eh, maybe I will just kind of chug along with it. You know, not not too, not worry about that too much. Just kind of nick away at twenty at a time while I power up some big bruisers on the bench because maybe I can get Wigglytuff and a full bench to do sixty. Uh, whenever Starmie does sixty damage. Assuming that Starmie will make it to do 60 damage, but it should be fine, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, Star Freeze, let's -a go go. And then I'll just continue using those energy cards up in my hand before Professor Oaking. Oh, Arbok! That could be an issue. Possibly, maybe. Yeah, this Arbok is uh, this version. It's got Wrap, can do Paralysis, and Deadly Poison. But yeah, it, 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 yeah, I think I showed that one before. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I think I want to just plop that on the bench. Probably this for the sake of the future. I don't really have another star. You could use energy removal on that coughing to prevent the future wheezing explosion. Mm. Maybe I should have en super energy. I don't know. I was just thinking, but that I should kind of start dumping out my hands before using Professor Oak. You know, you know. <laughs> All right. We get a water, and we place that water. And yeah, I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. Actually, maybe I should have used the super energy removal on the coughing instead. Well, Star Freeze. <laughs> He's gonna power up one of them back to two energy, and then I'm just gonna snipe him right off with that. <laughs> uh, or maybe not. Maybe I'm sucking away enough energy that he's kind of in a tough spot. Hmm. 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 <laughs> well, I'm gonna knock out that Chansey in a turn or two. I might. Or maybe not. I, I was gonna say I might recover Starmie before I do the knockout which is actually looking like a very good idea. 
Uh, let's knock out that Airbox energy. And let's do a delightful recover since it's using Defender anyway. It's not gonna really be doing any retreating anytime soon, given that. It's, yeah. So it's just kind of in a stuck in perpetuity. Another energy removal. Oh, wait, wait, actually. Super energy. I'm gonna discard, I guess, Mewtwo Psychic, because I can only suck that back using its own attack power later on. Um. Yeah, I'm really making the most of this hand, aren't I? <laughs> Alright, that's. <laughs> uh. Will I, I will have to. Um, should I. I should probably at least dump this on there, even though it's not gonna be able to attack for three turns. I, I guess. No, I, I really want. Hmm. I really want to hold on to my energy removals because he's not getting any set of energy right now, but at the same time. I want to prepare for the quick sleep, you know? You know, so I'm gonna Professor Oak it away. Plop that on Star Me. Also, Bill, I guess. <laughs> Might as well, as long as we have. There's another Professor Oak. I'm gonna run myself out of cards with, <laughs> with these nice, evenly distributed draw cards. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna just Star Freeze now and call it a turn. Didn't matter what the coin flip was, despite that sad sound it made, because it's gonna knock out the Chansey anyway. And that coughing, oh, another chance, <laughs> it's gonna take me forever! <laughs> 120 HP, I should definitely, absolutely prepare some sort of dugong for the future, for that impending chancy. For now, let's just star freeze. Oh, And yeah, that could be a problem, because you can cause confusion or a poison to star me, no matter the coin flip. So, I'm hoping for the poison, actually. Hmm, well that's what I got, but, but, this, you know, it's mainly for the switching purposes more than anything. Uh, actually, should I, hmm, hmm, I think I should power up Kadabra. I could Professor Oak into a, uh, Dugong, probably. But let's just keep attacking that star, because I think we're in pretty good position anyway. And yeah, he's gonna do a little bit more scratch damage with the foul gas. I'm hoping for heads again, because uh, I was gonna say yeah, because the confusion will prevent me from doing any retreating. Yeah, yeah. Well, probably will prevent me from doing retreating. It could possibly. <laughs> okay, there's Dugong. Happy days. Um. Oh, by the way, uh, if I were to use Starmie's Recover, it just removes, removes damage counters, not any sort of status elements, so... Yeah... Yeah... Um... Let's go ahead... Plop that on Kadabra, because it uses one colorless. And I guess I'll try for the attack... I suppose... Because maybe I can get... Oh, I was going to say, maybe I can get a little bit of damage off before Starmie sends off with the poison anyway, so yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um... I think I'll go with the uh, Jigglypuff, actually. Just kind of stall things out until I get can get a free switch into one of the powerhouses. And that should turn out just fine. Oh geez, Rocket's Trap. Three random cards can go back to my deck, or not? <laughs> well, well, he tried. And... Police Confusion, thank you. <laughs> I was thinking if it's Poison, that'll help knock out Jiggly a lot faster, but I'm not going to be attacking a Jigglypuff anyway, so... I figure that can slow things down a bit there. Uh, wait, actually... Do I want to put Water Jinx in? Maybe... I think I will, because that has the power of Psychic, but with the power of Water Energy, and since I've got the Water Energy in my hand, yeah! Alright, you do more Confusion stuff, you do that if you'd like. I will continue on with my turn in... Ooh, Kadabra, oh. Yeah, so I guess I'll probably start the sweep with Kadabra whenever he manages to knock out Jigglypuff, I guess? I suppose. So I'm actually kind of hoping for poison now, 
just kind of speed things along because I'm running low on cards in my deck. Uh, nah, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's only four turns. And the four Ooh, he's got the Weezing of the Extended Series. It can... Yeah, if it's poison, it'll do 20 poison damage instead of 10 after that. It's also got a certain power here. Well, well, yeah, there's that, but I mean, it's also got a certain... Oh, no! He's, he managed to pull it off. It's also got the gas explosion here. It'll do 30 damage to itself, so it'll knock itself out, but it'll also re-poison whatever I decide to switch into. So that's what's going to kind of cause a little bit of ire here. <laughs> so he's, he, he planned for my power-ups. Um... So, like, what I probably should do instead is put in the Jigglypuff and then do a swap into... Yeah, just using one energy card. Um, I'm not going to Professor Oak because I'm low on cards. I'm going to do the one energy card retreat into Kadavra. And Super Psy for 100 damage because of the science Pokemon's weakness. Voila! The chance he might be sort of kind of an issue. Sort of? Maybe? I don't want to say that because I'm an, I have the Dugong. And I probably should swap to that to speed things along. Probably. I mean, I can even Ice Beam it to boot. Um, but the thing about it is, Cadaver has a 3 retreat cost. Which is kind of poopy. Um, I guess I could nick away at it with Super Psy. You know, 20 damage at a time before I swap into the Dugong, because that's the Dugong will take three attacks anyway, and then I can see what he'll do. I got two prize cards with nine cards in my deck anyway, so I think I'll be able to make it. Just that I drew so many cards with the, the powers of the professors. I'm just kind of like, mm -hmm. oh wait, couldn't I, could I Pokemon Trainer? into my other dugong or did I or is it in the prizes? Hmm. We're about to find out <laughs> Okay it is there. Okay good good so I can plop that seal on the bench. Give that seal an energy do that and then I'll have another oops and then I'll have another bruiser and Aurora Beam twice while Chansey is a downa because it's not really going to be able to retreat with so little energy. You know, it's got a uh, one retreat energy cost, but the thing about it is that he's trying to power up his other stuff similar to what I do. And hopefully I will... Whoops! <laughs> I just kept alternating my fingers. And yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get that last prize card before things go out of my deck like they did for the Psychic Queen. <laughs> And not much out of that. So yeah, I, th I was actually ex expecting him to evolve something, but yeah, everything's got 50 HP, so regardless of what he put out, it's a goner. <laughs> and not too bad of a duel. There we go. Victory goes to me. Since I've lost, I'm more than happy to give you these new cards. Fly the booster pack for the love of Arceus! Give me a Pidgey! <laughs> oh, new version of Hitmonchan. It's got the Mach Punch. You can do 10 damage to it. So it's actually kind of interesting. You get that one for the, the... One for 20, like regular Hitmonchan, but you can also do 10 to the bench Pokemon, but it's got 50 HP. But it's not bad to use, in all honesty. It's also got a very interesting art artwork to boot. Uh, we've seen Poke Flute before. Pidgeotto. This is actually normally a rare card in the actual Pokemon trading card game. It's got, you know, it's a star, but it's a diamond here, so it's uncommon. Uh, you can do a switch just like regular Pidgey and do the mirror move as well. It's, you know, basically the damage and sort of like poison paralysis, whatever. <laughs> Uh, fancy Sunset Dugong. I think we've seen, or you've seen this one before. You can do a little bit of rest, but it puts Dugong to sleep. And the Roar Wave, it does the possible confusion, but 60 HP, so it's a lot of coin flipping. 
so it's kind of on the possible iffy side. If up to you if you want to use that, you've seen that see. I got a Spearow, not a Pidgey though. <laughs> uh, it's also got the similar mirror move, Abra. Psychic Beam, do 10 damage to it anywhere. No weakness and resistance though. Um, also no retreat cost, so you might want to consider this over regular Abra in some way. Except for the lack of paralysis with that. It's just like if you're... It's like something splashable if you want... If something has psychic resistance. Basic like Chansey there, I guess you could say. Oh, Extended Series Bellsprout. You got the Swaying. Prevent all damage. I think that's could possibly be a reference to a certain Pokemon League anime battle. Possibly where this Bellsprout was dodging everything. Except the mock, but details. <laughs> and Sun Spore causes paralysis. You know how the Sun Spores work by now. Yeah, Pidgey! Yeah, we're ready to blast. We're ready to battle the colorless peeps. But anyway, <laughs> Gust, Quick Attack. Got just Gust is regular and a Quick Attack may do. Yeah, you know that one. This is a weird, weird artwork Machop, but I love it as a result of that. Focus energy can possibly increase that base damage to 60 instead of 30 of the corkscrew. Yeah, yeah, wait, actually, did it? Yeah, it's if heads, yeah, it's. That's yeah, so I said possibly, anyway. So that might be something that you could possibly consider in that. It's got the same amount of HP as regular Machop, but it'll shred with that corkscrew punch if you manage to get the coin flip heads. If not, it can still relatively shred well, because it's. Corkscrew Punch is 30 for 2, so yeah, yeah. And Lost Isle Booster Pack! Electrode of the Game Boy Variety. I think we're gonna have all duplicates here. <laughs> yeah. You got some really strong cards and amazing strategies at work. Because of those traits, I always have fun when I battle against you. Me too, me too. Wait, wait, me too. Well, what about more dialogue? Would you care like to have a fun card battle if you really not really, okay. <laughs> Next place I'm gonna go over to to start the clearing out is nearby Grass Club. Because the Grass Club is now filled with peeps here, and Brittany here has even got a new deck. So, yeah, it seems worthy of wiping out these peeps. But I'll start with you. You may not like it, but I'm starting with you. Good afternoon, Mint. It's so good of you to visit. I'm glad to hear that you've been overcoming Team Jarrah's challenges. If you have the time for a duel, would you mind playing with me? Nope. Oh, well, if it's not today, perhaps next time. Thanks for chatting with me. It's quite pleasant working in this beautiful garden, I could imagine. However, card games are fun too. Would you please duel with me? Yes. More prize cards? Yes, they are all right. Let's begin. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh, it's the pre quick propagation deck. Let's grow some plants. So I was just gonna fill up her bench with a bunch of stuff, probably. But my idea is to sweep her in, regardless of what she has. Possibly, I'll hold on to the Abra. I mean, it, yeah, just in case of like. Uh, I want to trade it for something, possibly, maybe. I mean, yeah, Star you, not Abra. <laughs> like, what am I thinking here? Anyway, so I'm gonna go do the Slapperoonie. That Oddish is uh, the only critter she's got, but she might be going for uh, a certain call for family deal. As I said, she might be trying to fill up her bench with stuff. Could be, uh, maybe. Unfortunately, I will not be able to sweep it before she does so. So I'm just gonna go ahead. And focus on powering up the Articuno, because Articuno could be a powerful little critter as things go. Ooh! Ooh! And I could do the poison. But I think I'm gonna do the Slapper Rooney anyway. Like, I'm not gonna switch out to avoid the poison damage or anything like that, because it's still. Oh, there's the Pokemon Trader. Uh, so, I'm thinking. Oops. I'm, I'm, I was gonna say, I'm thinking I should do a seal. You know, for one of those dugongs, actually. Do that. Grab... Yeah, the seal will be fine. Put that seal on the bench, and... slap I'm kind of hoping that she does get some sort of bench Pokémon, otherwise I'll probably have to re-battle her to give her a fighting chance. Oh, potion, okay. That'll, that'll, that'll help her fighting chance, for sure. 
And, oh, Vile Plume! Holy pooper scoopers! She is quickly evolving that critter. And the heal, oh, it succeeded! Oh man! Oh man, she's actually putting me in a difficult spot! Unless she gets tails or something like that, but Petal Dance could do a lot of damage. Uh, but the thing about it is that after using it, confusion hits like a ton of bricks. So, that might not work out in her favor, but the extra HP will work out in her favor. Uh, I'll go for Abra, just to go for Paralysis plus Confusion to boot. Uh, yeah, I could evolve over to Kadabra, but then I can't attack, I don't have any more energies. But yeah, we'll just see how things go. It's still early in the duel, I'm just looking for some energy more than anything. And there's the confusion damage. So yeah, that, that's kind of what I was going for, it's either that or the paralysis. Uh, energy removal will be pretty nice to stall as well, but I don't know if it'll much matter, because she's probably got a lot of energy. Since she's been drawing a lot of cards, just that she doesn't need to actually utilize that energy, because Vile Poon was at max, yeah. And he's got nothing. He's got nothing! Yeah, we're gonna bill into Jinx and the Sail. I wonder if I should just go and go ahead then and do that, because I'll put another seal down. And Borelisus? It's a no-go. So she's probably gonna probably gonna <laughs> Oh that's right! I cured it with the Oh, yeah, because it can't have more than one status condition, unless it's poison. Whoops! That might actually be a... might be an issue. Well, we'll see. 40 damage times the number of heads. It'll probably knock out Abra. But yeah, that was a mistake on my part. So, well, maybe not, because going for the paralysis is about the same as the confusion. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, what I should do, though... Probably stall out with something while nicking away at you know with damage and stuff like that. I get the bruiser out. Ooh, okay. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. I don't have the other. Yeah. Um. But I want a Professor Oak in a way. But I also wanna. I don't. Hmm. <laughs> do you think I'll draw another <laughs> another star? Or, or, I mean, uh, yeah, maybe, but maybe she'll just cause confusion damage to herself. Nope, she won't. And that's not looking good for my seal. Well, well, yeah, once you get, like, the first head coin flip, then the rest is like, uh-oh. <laughs> she's doing a decent amount of damage here, but this game ain't over yet. Mm, I wonder if I should actually... Just go for a water energy to win. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> that would work. I was like, I was going for the bruisers, but she's not getting any sort of bench Pokemon anyway. That was a that was a weird duel, I've gotta say. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Should I rebattle her? That, that is just that's just so weird. Anyway, lost that booster back. <laughs> and item finding no man. I, mean, yeah, I think you've seen this gold bat. Yeah, it was a nosedive gold bat. Uh, okay. Let's come back again for another game. I won't lose next time. Well, we'll see. It's very pleasant working in this beautiful... Oh, we've seen that. Yes, yes. Okay. Quick propagation returns. But yeah, she was in quite a difficult predicament, as was I in certain ways, but... Yeah, it was just, just a weird duel overall. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna propagate those critters once again, possibly. <laughs> oh, she's got no bench either again. Well, Seal's got a lot of HP, so the longest laster wins. I got a Jiggly. That could be game over. <laughs> ah, this is a second chance. It's not looking good for her. <laughs> she's probably gonna call for yeah. I was gonna say call for family to. Okay. All right. That's that's the idea. of The propagation is to fill up her stuff and thin out her deck. So, headbutt, and I'll get a dugong on the next turn. Oh, Oddish too, she's probably gonna call for family as well. Weeping Bell, hmm. Okay, oh, Professor Oak's definitely gonna fill up her bench of stuff. But yeah, she's just, she doesn't really have a lot of attack power aside from that vic <clears throat> victory bell, so 
I'm victory bell. Vile plume. <laughs> like even if she evolves into victory bell, it doesn't doesn't really have all that much damage overall. Anyway, a little bit of poison unsealed, but that's not gonna matter much because I'm just gonna evolve to Dugong anyway. Start Aurora beaming. <laughs> um, I wonder if I should eat energy removal that Bell Sprout. Probably should. Pop that on there. Wiggly Tough. Aurora Beam! <laughs> Knock off the Weeping Bell before our Victory Bell even becomes a thing. <laughs> and uh, the Oddish is going. But I think I'm in kind of like sweeping position at this moment in time. Oh wait, I thought she was going to evolve to... Oh, she's stalling, okay. Just trying to get stuff set up like I do. Uh... Uh... I might as well. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not that big of a deal if I don't have a full do the wave anyway, because Wigglytuff is still a pretty capable critter. And I'm bound to get some more bench Pokémon even if Dugong gets KO'd, so... Yeah... And... Uh, we're being... Sure, why not? <laughs> Got a Glabro! And that Gloom is gonna be going for the poison, I'm sure. So, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Just kind of try and knock that dugong down before I can kind of finish her off. Oh, there's Jinx. That's pretty nice to see. And Aurora Beam. Nicking away at my HP between turns, though. But the Gloom just doesn't really have that much attack power in general. And yeah, it's going to have the foul order, but... It's gonna cause confusion after that, after that to itself as well. Chances are it's gonna knock itself out later if I don't knock it out, but I'm gonna actually go for just continuing on the powering up. And the Jinx uses only water, right? Yeah. So I'll go for that and finish off with a bang? Nope. <laughs> I was gonna say, finish off the gloom before poison damage takes it, but nah. nah. Alright, so... I should probably go with Jinx then. Just kind of save the Wiggly for the future. And... Retreat fails, so now it's probably going to try to do a Poison. And it may hurt itself in the attempts of Poison. It did! And that's a knockout, which means I'm down to one prize card. Bell Sprouts, and I also got the water from that, so I can... And I'll unsar you for the Wigglytuff, that's not gonna be... That's not gonna be friendly. And sleep time! That was just a whole host of bad luck on her part. Just, just that one little turn did a whole lot of issues. Okay, I, I was gonna say, if it, 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 it did wake up, so... She's good, she's good. <laughs> okay, she, so she got a little bit of her luck back. Ish. Ish. Um... Let's plop that on Staryu. And continuing on with the cold breath. Because it does the most damage and has a potential of sleep. Rather than... I mean, Paralysis, you know, is more stable. But it's still both a coin flip to actually activate it. And I'm, I'm looking more to get that last prize card more than anything, you know? So, what I can do then is swap into said Wigglytuff and then do the wave for the game. Uh, I'll put that on Staryu, just, I don't know, for fun of it. <laughs> and yeah, do the wave! Boa! Exactly 30 damage, 10 plus the 2 for the bench Pokémon. So yeah, this is, I, I don't think her deck is much of a match for mine, even if she had a Vic... <laughs> Well, Victory Bell, um... Yeah... Vile Puma, I cannot say, think of the name for some reason, I don't know why! <laughs> anyway... Uh, but yeah, it's like, even with that, plus maybe a full bench would make that much of a difference. So my giving her another chance didn't really do all that much. So with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part so we continue clearing out the grass club, I suppose?